Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last few videos, we looked at logistic regression and we also saw how to learn weights in logistic regression. We also looked at gradient ascent, which is an optimization technique used to learn weights for logistic regression. In this video, we are going to define overfitting in the context of logistic regression and how using the maximum likelihood approach could potentially lead to overfitting. The maximum likelihood solution, which optimizes the maximum conditional log likelihood. So it's also called MCLE because of that. Note that we already looked at MLE, maximum likelihood estimation. What we use in logistic regression is called MCLE because we use the conditional log likelihood, which is P of YL given XL, where L indexes the examples. So we use P of YL given XL, which is also the conditional log likelihood. So the procedure that we use is called maximum conditional log likelihood estimation or also known as MCLE. So this MCLE solution generally prefers higher weights Remember, we are learning the weights, which are also the parameters of the logit function. And it generally prefers higher weights. And having higher weights could have a larger influence of the corresponding features on decision. What does it mean for a particular feature's weight to be very high, which means that that particular feature is very important in the decision because its weight is high. Because remember we have wi times xi where i denotes the ith feature. So if wi is high, which means xi is very prominent in the decision making process and if it is really higher higher than usual higher than it should be then it could mean overfitting so remember what we defined as overfitting in decision trees we defined a tree which is really long really um, fewer examples per path of the tree are contributes to overfitting right so you have a tree which is really long and um, uh, each branch or sorry each path only captures very few examples which means it is making the tree long for really very little gain in performance and that could overfit on training data and perform worse on test data or generalize um, not generalize well across data sets so here again we have this a similar problem if the weight is really 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 high then that means that the model has overfit the training data and will not generalize well to other data sets and the performance may not be as good on test data so to just illustrate how that would be, let's say here we have model number one on the left and we have a data point which is, let's say here. So let's say we have all many data points here. So this is a decision boundary, right? So we have many data points here. We have lots of data points on this side as well. And the model is trying to find the decision boundary. And let's say you have a data point very close to the edge here. 
And this particular one, this data point, could be an outlier because it's really close. It could be on the other side or it could be wrongly uh, recorded, which means that it's because all other red data points are here on this side of the line. And there's just one of this on this side and the model, when it tries to optimize and for this point and tries to also fit it, then the weights will become high. And what would result is sort of the model on the extreme right here, this model, where this model would really ha try harder than required to fit this point close to the edge, resulting in really high weight. So this, this is an example of a model learned when the weights are high. And this is a model that is learned when the weights are, are low. So again, you can see how overfitting in this particular model is very similar to what, the concept is very similar to what uh, we looked at for decision trees, where we have fewer data points and f to classify them correctly, the, decision tree keeps splitting and keeps glow growing in size becomes uh, out of balance and one of the side just becomes too deep and um, not very useful on the test data so similarly here the way to to incorporate this point here close to the edge the weights are increased unnecessarily and you get a very steep sharp model here which is a result of high weights. So intuitively, I want you to understand how the model would look if it overfits so that you can recognize it easily when that happens, when you're practically using this model. Next video, we will discuss how to penalize high weights and how to avoid overfitting in logistic regression. We'll introduce a new technique called regularization, which penalizes high weights. And we'll look that in more look at that in more detail in the next video.